Hey, it's Diane Lee back with another chronic pain video. And today I'm going to talk to you about the one bone that'll ruin your life if you let it. But before I start talking about this one bone, I just need to rant a little bit, vent a little bit. Something's going on in this world and it has nothing to do with what people are saying it has to do with, okay? There's something really weird going on. Something stinks. Mm-hmm. And it's not my puppy. There's something weird going on, and I think we all know it. And it's not what they say it is. I want to talk about the elephant in the room for just a moment, okay? Um, I don't talk about these things, controversial subjects, like I said, on social media, but just in case you didn't know, uh, there aren't any cures for the word, right? There's no cure for that. There, there's no cure for that. Your own body, you know, the one that God gave you, uh, has something called an immune system. And the way that you build up your immune system is, of course, by doing things like exercise, eating right, taking care of yourself, but also exposure to things. That is what a, the other V word, is it has a little bit of the thing in it so that your body builds up immunity to it. But you know what? I don't get those things because they have far many more poisons in them and toxic substances um, than I think uh, that, that probably compromise our immune system instead of help it. So. Now, long ago, maybe that wasn't the case, maybe when I was growing up, but these days, <laughs> you can forget it. So, um, I don't understand why some, why we're doing what we're doing right now, okay? Um, I am, I wake up every morning and at, and it's as if I've been arguing with someone about this in my sleep. And I don't know who I'm arguing with, but every morning I wake up mad all over again. And then you've got all of these other problems going on where people um, are being deleted off of social media if they don't say what everybody else is saying. And then you have... Uh, neighbors tattling on neighbors and you have all the did you guys study history at all go back and study world war two okay a guy named adolf hitler ever heard of him you know what tactic they used Neighbors were tattling on neighbors and turning people in. And I have European friends, and I was talking to one of them the other day, and they said we would never do to each other, to our neighbors, what Americans are doing to one another right now. Never. Do you know why? Because we lived through World War II Nazi Germany. Okay? So all you people that have compromised immune systems and people that are just scared out of your mind because you've been watching too much uh, BS on TV, you need to stay home. But you also need to mind your own business. You do you. You act on your beliefs if you believe your life is in danger then you stay home but guess what your neighbor over there they may not believe that they may believe something completely different why 
because they're not hypnotizing themselves with mainstream media all day long that is full of crap. Even the articles I'm seeing being passed around with these um, clickbait headlines, you know, oh, this hairdresser uh, potentially contaminated 900,000 other people and blah, 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 because she had symptoms. Nowhere in the article did it say that she had the, no, nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. But yet this is the kind of crap I'm talking about. This is the kind of crap that you guys need to stop passing around Stop watching, stop reading. I did it for investigation purposes, not because I am afraid, okay? Okay, I think my rant is over. I don't know, I might come back with another one, but that's it for now. Now let's move on. Okay, that part out of the way. Now let's move on to the one bone to rule them all that can ruin your life. Okay, here we go, ready? It is, ta-da, oops, wait, ta-da. It's called Atlas Subligation. Okay, Atlas Subligation. It is the very first vertebrae that keeps your head on straight basically, okay? And this head weighs a lot of pounds, okay? Depending on your physique, how big or small you are, this thing can weigh between eight, and I've heard all the way up to 18 pounds. That's a heavy, heavy, heavy head. So if this is out of balance, then this whole thing is gonna be out of balance, and then guess what? The rest of your spine, just goes completely out. It starts compressing, your hips go out of place. Um, it will cause, let's see, I have a list here, physical indications that your atlas is out of balance. Well, first of all, range of motion. You're not gonna be able to turn your head from side to side very easily, or let's say you can only go here, or, but you're not gonna be able to go all the way over to the side, right? Mine is a little bit out right now, I just heard a crunch because I fell in quarantine. I fell and hurt myself, and um, <clears throat> we're not gonna go into that right now, though, but basically slammed my head on a pole, and it uh, knocked everything out of place. So this bone will ruin your life, and guess what? Your doctor, or, or let's say medical doctor, MD, or one of those specialists, probably doesn't know much about this, okay? They know it's there, but they don't understand that if it's out, it can cause all kinds of problems such as headaches and migraines, dizziness, neck pain, of course, back pain, TMJ pain, everybody has a TMJ, okay? But not everyone has TMJ pain, weakness, brain fog, chronic constipation, uh-huh, because the vertebrae are compressed, which compresses the nerves, you da 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 da, -da. back and hip pain. It can also cause, uh, when, it, when stuff travels far enough down, because the stuff will travel all over your body, um, and I'll explain that in another video, what does that, but eventually it travels, you know, down through the hips, you may have knee pain, but you could also have plantar fasciitis pain. Spinal compression, nerve compression, sciatica, hip, I don't, did I have sciatica on there? Nope, uh, because the rib cage will start to rotate. Okay, so I'm gonna add that, sciatica. Also extreme thirst, uh, no matter how much water you're drinking, it never feels like you're really satiated not feeling particularly hungry or full, so you either may not be eating enough or you're eating too much because you can't really tell. And again, that has to do with the nerves in your back that go on out into your digestive system. Uh, digestive system not, digest, not working as it should. 
Okay. So this thing right here will cause any number of problems. It can um, cause uh, eventually fibromyalgia pain, right? Where like your shoulders have um, uh, trigger points in them. You've got trigger points all over your body. Um, because this thing right here, if it stays out long enough, it will distort all of not only your spine, but your soft tissue. Okay, your soft tissue has to be balanced as well. Um, but let's say, have you ever gone to the chiropractor and they said, oh, well, one leg is shorter than the other? Eh, yeah, maybe a little bit, but that's really not what the problem is. You really weren't born with one leg shorter than the other, most likely, unless it's just a fraction. What it is, is this thing right here, this bone, when it goes out, when either is rotated, and most usually what happens is it's rotated and tilted, then it causes the foot, opposite foot, um, to actually, uh, or the, the rest of the body, I have another picture that shows this, where basically the entire body becomes distorted and one hip goes up and the other one comes down, which makes it seem as if your leg is long, one leg is longer than the other, but that's not actually the case. So how do you fix it? Well, your regular doctor, like I said, isn't going to probably know much of anything about this. They know it's there, but they don't know what to, that it's causing all these problems or could be causing all these problems. Uh, they don't physically, you know, manually uh, adjust you. So you can either go to a chiropractor that specializes in atlas subluxation right? It's just a little, they do some x-rays and they use a little teeny tiny stylus and go tap, barely even feel it. And just like that, you'll feel instantly better and you'll feel the change. The problem with that is, is usually it won't stay in place. So you have to keep getting it readjusted and readjusted. The reason for that is because they're not doing the work to get your soft tissue back into place. It's the soft tissue that holds your bones in place, not the other way around. The bones don't hold your uh, connective tissue in place. The connective tissue holds the bones in place. So the reason why the sucker's out in the first place is because your connective tissue was too tight okay repetitive motion stuff accidents falls um so it'll just gradually go out over time if you're someone who uses your arms and hands uh, a lot to make your living or you're lifting stuff um over time your soft tissue can get very um dense and it it's not really that soft anymore and that travels up and it'll pull this out um, any kind of whiplash injury is going to pull that out usually. Um, slips, trips, and falls are going to pull it out. There are so many ways that it can come out, and in most people, it is out of place at least a little bit, okay? And then, bam, one thing happens, you sleep wrong, you try to pick up something that's too heavy, and all of a sudden, your life is freaking miserable. So this is it. So you can go to the chiropractor and you can keep getting it put back in over and over, or you can call me, okay? You can make an appointment uh, by clicking the link below this video and you can uh, talk to me and I'll tell you how we can get it in by instructing your own body to put it in. And I know that sounds absolutely crazy and woo woo and weird, but guess what? It works. Okay, there is a language, there's an ancient language um, that I use, an ancient uh, sound actually, that your body understands, okay? If you know anything about sound, sound is just frequency, okay? And sound and words and all those things, 
can actually change the crystalline structure of water. If you've ever seen uh, Dr. Emoto's water experiments, I'll try to put a link uh, below to one of those videos on here so you can watch that. But sound and frequency and vibration can change the structure of something because all we are is energy. And what I do is give your body the instructions it needs to put you back together, okay? Until next time, stay safe, have fun. Go, go have fun, you're gonna be fine, okay? And I'm out. Mm -hmm.